turns around and gives bits of it to pay for the election of our so-called representatives, and then figures out how to put other buildings in 59 different congressional districts to build one weapon, not because it's efficient, but because it's bribery, it's jobs, and then he gets the Congress members to buy stock in the company. And how do they do that? Openly brag about wars benefiting their stocks, and then sends representatives into schools to tell children this is a great place to work, and then buys billboards out here where you can't buy a billboard that says peace on earth because that's politics, but you can have fighter jets all over the metro stations because that's not politics. Uh, I, I mean, this is the corruption of our communication system, our governance, uh, our economy, uh, by a company with absolutely no shame. Uh, you know, they're gonna, they, then they've turned tomorrow into a celebration of war, a holiday that used to be a celebration of peace and ending a war and disarmament and avoiding war. They've turned it into a celebration of war. And the other 364 days, too. You know, this is, and you go to, I went and told my city government, stop investing in Boeing, and they told me, what, did they make, they make something bad? Yes, <laughs> weapons! Well, well, but they also make airplanes that aren't weapons. Okay, but airplanes. if if Boeing had, if Boeing made airplanes that aren't weapons and had a Ku Klux Klan division, you would object. <laughs> if Boeing made airplanes that aren't weapons and had a department for torturing kittens, you would throw a fit. <laughs> but because they make weapons for destroying the earth, it's okay. Because they also make airplanes that aren't weapons. Of course they are. They're destroying the climate uh, just a little more slowly than the weapons. So, you know, this is, this is a corruption of our minds. Uh, you know, there, there's a nice, lovely sports field out here called Boeing. Mm -hmm. You know, there are university departments funded by Boeing. There, there's, you know, a U.S. Institute of Peace across the river with the weapons dealers carved in the stone. It, it's fully normalized. Mass murder is fully normalized. These people in this building don't even think they do it. You know, this is what we've come to. So, I'm glad y'all are here. Well, we're glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Thank you.